good morning from us. Morning. We are making our way to Disney's Yacht Club Resort today. We are going to Ale and Compass for breakfast. This is not my first time having food from Ale and Compass, but it will be my first time at the restaurant. Um, Russ's first time having anything from there. So I'm excited. There are a lot of great options on the menu. So I'm looking forward to tasting some of it. <laughs> um, also, it is bright and early this morning. Um, early reservations are somewhat easy to get, at least at some places. It is a holiday weekend as well, but there was like this only this one time slot. So I think that that's why we got lucky with this one. But yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good experience. I think there are some delicious things I want to try. Russ has some delicious menu options he wants to try, so we're gonna do it. So we're making our way now. This wasn't that hard to find. Um, I think you're gonna need your GPS if you're not familiar with the like the resort as a whole. But there are there are some signs that will help you. Some of them are a little hidden though. I'll be honest. Yeah, after you get off the main strip, yeah, it was hidden. Yeah, so we're turning in. Now you'll notice we're we're gonna pass by the swan, um, and then the dolphins kind of a little tucked in there, and then we're gonna we're gonna keep going over to the yacht and beach side. Also, this is the Swan Reserve, and one of the things that we talk about is how it's, I don't necessarily consider it as convenient as the Swan or Dolphin, and it's because in order to do what it is that, um, like to take advantage of the transportation options, you do have to cross this street. So you don't have to deal with that if you're at the Swan or Dolphin. It's very walkable. This, I think, less walkable. I'm surprised they didn't put a bridge. Me too, but um, yeah, so I consider this to be less walkable. I know that some people don't think that this is that big of a deal, but it is, in my opinion. And here we are at the Yacht Club. The entrance to the Yacht and Beach Club resorts, I think, are just beautiful. Once you get in the doors, though, it's gorgeous. Oh, by the way, here's the, uh, the bus for the Yacht Club. It smells so nice in here. It smells like our house. Yeah, it does. I love it in here. It's, it's like, it's really pretty. It's a little bit, it's definitely East Coast, like New England feel, but more like Martha's Vineyard, like yacht club, country club feel. The beach club is a little bit more like Cape Cod, a little bit more laid back. Yeah, I would agree. And then the boardwalks down probably more south, like New Jersey and stuff like that. Like, yeah. The like, actual boardwalk. Do people really have a boardwalk right now? Too. Not like not that I recall. I mean, I'm sure there was one probably back in the yeah. day, but not when we were. Yeah. yeah. It's, I, it's it's I love it. I love this place. It's the whole East Coast. It's great. Mm -hmm. So we decided to go with the buffet, yeah. and this is what Russ got. He got a bit more of a spread than I did. So he's got some yogurt with granola, fresh berries. Biscuits and gravy and a cinnamon roll and, and, and a muffin. muffin. I just went with some of the fruit and biscuits and gravy. I'm gonna try this. We have some delicious dishes coming our way, so don't want to eat too much. Well, that's it. Breakfast is over. And I know what you're thinking. Why didn't you film breakfast? Well, I was busy eating. And there were a lot of people sitting right next to us, so you know, it was quiet for a minute, but it got crowded. Yeah, not that it was a bad thing though. No, but I just like to try and respect people's space whenever I can. But, what did you think of breakfast? Absolutely delicious. Um, 
So we got the, the pancakes and the um, French toast. And we also yeah. got the buffet. Yes. So it is the, they're what, were they apple pie pancakes? Is that what, or excuse me, apple pie French toast? Is that what it was called? Yeah, so it's salted caramel apple French toast. Salted caramel? What is that? I didn't get any of that. Anyway. It was, um, the French toast was okay. fine. Mm -hmm. It was, it was good as far as French toast is concerned, but it wasn't special. It paled in comparison to the uh, blueberry pancakes with bacon. Yeah, so the other dish that we got was blueberry pancakes with bacon. And I will tell you, first of all, the pancakes were good, just as pancakes, but they had gigantuan blueberries, plenty of blueberry, and amazing bacon. It was like these big chunks of perfectly cooked bacon, which I thought was really nice. You know, sometimes you get, sometimes you get dishes and you're like, eh, it's reminiscent of the flavors that they advertise, which is how I felt about the French toast. That was not the case with these pancakes. It was exactly what it said it was. So good. Now we also went with the buffet. Yep. And the reason we did that is because we both knew we wanted coffee mm -hmm. and we both knew um, we wanted to have like a little bit of like fruit or something. Yeah, I, I especially... Um... He's a little tired. Mm. We've been a little busy this past couple days. No, it's a big breakfast. Um, <laughs> No, like, I, I've been really enjoying uh, yogurts and fresh fruits and stuff like that with my breakfasts, so it was nice to have that option, because mm -hmm. um, you could have gotten it on its own, so like you could have gotten, like, a fruit, pla a fruit plate or whatever, but it was, like, $7. Yeah. Or um, you can just, it was $23, and that includes one entree and then a, whatever drink you want, and then access to the buffet of yogurts, fresh fruits, uh, biscuits and gravy, croissants, mm -hmm. a bunch of pastries and stuff like that as well. So when we did the math, I think the, if I remember right, one one entree was like 15, another one was 16. So yeah. we're already at like, with a coffee, 19, 20 bucks anyway. So yeah. for an extra $3, we got access to everything else. So Cause like, the coffee was, at least mine was like $5. Cause I got a, uh, a latte. Yeah, and then I got a regular, I just like regular coffee with mine, mm -hmm. which is, that I, you know, I always round up to like four bucks, so. So, by the time we did the math, it made sense to do the buffet, even though we didn't partake in a ton of it. Um, there was more than enough food, actually I ended up taking some home, um, mm -hmm. but there was more than enough food, like just. In general. In general for each entree, but. I thought it was worth it. I do think it was worth the buffet, especially especially if you're gonna order a coffee or something anyway. So look at the look at the numbers and just see if it's right for you. But yeah. I thought it was worth it. There were enough things to make it worth it in my opinion. And I will say though, very good. Mm -hmm. the, the fruit was very good. The yogurt was very good. Granola was on point. I think the granola was crushed up Nature Valley bars, which is awesome. Because <laughs> I hate eating Nature Valley bars. Because one, I'm just not a big fan of them. Mm -hmm. But they just fall apart and become granola anyways. You know, that's yeah. the joke. But like, so I just threw some of that in there. The biscuits and gravy was very good too. That was good. I I had mostly um, the fruit. I did try the biscuits and gravy. It was very good, but the fruit was amazing. It was like perfect. So that was great. Again, he's killing me here. Sorry. The day hasn't even started. No, it hasn't. And we still gotta we still gotta get over to the outlets because uh, a shirt that I was looking for ended up there. So I gotta see if I can get my hands on it. Um, but the chocolate chip muffin. Oh, I, was, I didn't go back and try the chocolate just, chip muffin. That's okay. It was on point. Yeah. We don't get chocolate chip muffins very often, and it actually reminded me of like a Dunkin' Donuts chocolate chip muffin, which they don't make anymore. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe, it depends. I don't know. Where where we've been recently, there hasn't been any, so maybe <laughs> we have to try again. But anyways, it was very good. 
Yeah, it was, I think overall, so um, it was under $50 for the both of us to do both buffets, which was the coffee, the entree and everything. There was plenty of food. Um, I definitely think we could have absolutely split. I mean, we wouldn't have done this because we both wanted our own entree, but we could have definitely just split one entree yeah. and had plenty of food even without the buffet. Um, now currently, as you guys are seeing this, you can still mobile order here, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. That's another kind of like affordable option and something to keep in mind if you're thinking about coming here. Is the entree going to have a lot of food? Yeah, the entree alone is going to have a lot of food. So you can mobile order this and split it. Mm -hmm. And that if you, if you want to split, that's how I would recommend doing it, sure. um, you know, or tip your server accordingly. Anyway, I think it was a great breakfast. It was a very good breakfast. 10 out of 10. Would definitely come back again. Um, but we won't because there's so many other places to go to. True. Anyway, I hope that this was um, a helpful little look into our breakfast, hearing what it was that we thought. Yeah. If you like this, let us know by hitting that like button, commenting, subscribing if you haven't already. And, um, and I'm just going to add one last thing. The idea that we could have eaten breakfast and then literally in two seconds walking out of a door in order to be in Epcot sounds like a pretty good day to me. I, I agree. Epcot Area Resorts are probably the best on property. Period. I definitely agree with that. Period. Sorry. But anyway, yep. thanks for joining us. Yeah. And we will see you in the next one.